<laughs> this, is, this, this is a Father's Day classic, this track. Every dad likes this song. <laughs> Nick's thinking of his children. Son, I've made a life. <laughs> Out of beating up <laughs> retards. <laughs> biting <laughs> them and trying to turn them <laughs> into <laughs> retard <laughs> dragons. <laughs> so if you don't mind the same, I can see you're out of aces. A couple of extra chromosomes <laughs> But I'm up real nice <laughs> It is truly one of the greatest songs of all time It's a fantastic it's song It's such a good song it's, And it's, it's, the lesson in it is timeless yeah, yeah, I listen to that song and I'm like I can't wait to be 65 years old <laughs> Yeah And just smile Well, the best part of the song just hear the gambler really come on and it. smile we probably talked about it before But just like the the what like what the scenario is in that song is there's he's just next to some guy on a train and he's like um <coughs> give me a cigarette and some of your whiskey and then he just drinks all of his whiskey <laughs> and smokes i think his last cigarette yeah that is fucking <laughs> and rude. then he's like let me tell you some i just play cards for a living and the trick is you got to know what cards to get rid of and what to keep. <laughs> and then he dies. <laughs> and then the guy just fucking dies. Yeah, that's a that's a rude ass fucking. That's one of the worst Amtrak guys you could be seated next to. He yeah. drink. He takes your fucking cigarette. He drinks your booze, and then he yeah. fucking dies next. In to a you. regular world, that song would be called a mentally ill piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's just a homeless guy dying next to you. You gotta know And to somewhere fuck in the darkness The gambler, he broke even What a nice euphemism For yeah. dying in your sleep on a train somewhere <laughs> Dying, breaking, breaking even, even. Yeah. That's true Because they hadn't checked to see that he hadn't paid the fare Yeah, <laughs> I think And so then they had to deal With a dead body that was going Nowhere other than the city plot No family to collect his remains <laughs> He, none of his children love him. Mm -hmm. He's got a small dick. They don't they know. They gambled his name. away their money. It's like that movie, The Wrestler. <laughs> if the character had never even wrestled, and he didn't get pussy, <laughs> and he, he was just, just some fucking guy. <laughs> At least he fucked Marissa Tomei yeah, yeah. in that fucking movie. Yeah. <laughs> this guy got no pussy, and his penis was small. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta have a bigger penis. Your dick is way too small. <laughs> this is like a nice fat pussy. Yeah, the guy with a big dick by Kenny Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, you die with a small okay. dick, <laughs> you are a faggot. I was on a train and some guy with a big dick <laughs> sat down next to me and he took a look at my dick. <laughs> my little ass dick. And he said, son, that, that's pathetic. But there's something you can work with here. We're going to trim up your pubes <laughs> and give you a dick makeover. Hey, we're going to liposuction the fat around your dick. We're going to smash your pelvic bone <laughs> and have it surgically placed <laughs> and closer to your asshole. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're going to contour your pubes mm -hmm. to do the optical illusion. We're going to cut your dick in half. <laughs> and in the middle, put, put <laughs> material from your thigh. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna medically extend your dick, and if anyone asks, you you say, "Let's just turn the lights off." <laughs> and that's the story of Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> like Steven said to me, "We were just like eating dinner, and maybe there had been like." five seconds of silence, and I forget what the conversation had been prior to that. It was about like you know we, I, I don't know, like like yeah, Will seems like he's doing well. And then silence, and then him being like, you know, I heard that Harvey Weinstein's dick was fucked up because you, I think it was because he was trying to make it bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, so, well, Stephen, what happened? Where, how, yeah, how long <laughs> has this been bouncing around your brain? <laughs> he really, he truly has a beautiful mind. Well, it's like it's. And it's if, not, if anyone wants a visual, it's our friend that looks remarkably like Getty Lee. It's like it doesn't produce its own thoughts. It's just yeah. like it's real like quick. Just changing. My name is actually Get Hetty Lee. That's pretty cool. But yeah. We can keep going. That's yeah. It's actually Bretty Lee. No, it's yeah. Get it's Hetty actually, Lee. And you're married it's, to Sarah Lee. It's Get Hetty Lee. Name. I am married to Sarah Lee because I like cakes and she's got big tits. No. But my
my name is Get Heady. She Lee. married you for the life insurance no. policy. <laughs> and she knew. She knew. she knew how to kill you. <laughs> oh, she knew. Fuck. She knew she had 18 months. Listen, of, of feed me cakes and smother me with your big fat titties. There's there's way worse ways to go. 18 than that. months of gritting and bearing sexual encounters with you before. No, she's got a big smile life, on her face. Life insurance. And she in. wears a lot of. She, she wears said, red son, lipstick. Son, I made a lie. <laughs> Out of eating people's pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing if they were about to come by the way they held their eyes. <laughs> you got to have a bigger penis. If you don't mind me saying, you look like a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please move, sir. Please Can I have $5? <laughs> 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 Can I have five dollars? I'm trying to buy a beer in the cafe car. I'm really fucking thirsty, and the cafe car is out of soda. Yeah, <laughs> and I can't drink water because the doc. I've got a medical condition, mm -hmm. and I'm not just trying to get drunk. But I swear to God, I that's the only option. It's what's what my doctor said. <laughs> the, the doctors have told me that I have a, I have to drink legally. <laughs> <laughs> or I will go blind. I will go blind. So give me five dollars. Now I'm not asking motherfucker. <laughs> I done sat down here before you don't come at me like like I came into your world. <laughs> You gotta pay the toll. <laughs> like I came into your world. <laughs> you no. gotta pay the toll. The get me drunk toll. If you wanna sit next to me on this on the northeast motherfucking regional, <laughs> I'm going to Boston to get pussy off Instagram <laughs> from some bitch who's probably maybe two or three points lower on the scale than she looks in the pictures. <laughs> But it turns out she's got a son, <laughs> which I think means the pussy's ruined. <laughs> but you ha you don't have to care as much because somebody else already done the damage. Because somebody fucked it up before you. <laughs> but maybe there's a chance yeah. that the doctor sewed it up tighter. And maybe the pussy's actually medically enhanced. And did I mention she's half Korean? <laughs> <laughs> the other half is Spanish. So I guess that kind of breaks even. <laughs> you got to know when to go fold them. At least she's not Jewish. No. Although sometimes that's nice. It's not bad as a change of pace. You know, just try to change it up and then you think about the fact that they're rich. <laughs> and then it just becomes a rich person. It kind of offsets <laughs> the, the Being Jewish. Jewish. And sometimes yeah. you can fuck them. The guy him. on the train by Kenny Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> I met some fucking guy. <laughs> on my way to get some pussy. I, I was also getting pussy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Both of us were getting pussy. But his dick was bigger than mine. <laughs> his dick was bigger than mine. But he seemed like a retard. <laughs> he kept saying all this whack shit. <laughs> <laughs> to me, he seemed whack, but then at the end, he would save it. He would save it at <laughs> he, the end. Yeah, it was one of those guys you meet. <laughs> Where they were just they were taking L's throughout the whole story, <laughs> and then right at the end they put a stinger on it and made it nice. <laughs> you gotta love when someone gets nasty with it. <laughs> on what seems like a fucked up story, talking about how they wound up in jail, but then in jail somehow they meet like David Hasselhoff or something. <laughs> I beat up my mom, <laughs> and I was on probation, but then it turns out my probation officer was the fucking one of the guys that was in the army with my dad, and so we started getting talking, and he introduces me to my dad, who turns out to be gay, but no one at his job knew, so I black my, mailed my own dad. <laughs> <laughs> in a roundabout way to get child support. <laughs> but really, if you think about it, he owed me the money anyway. He owed me the money, and I spent it on a semi I don't know how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> and now I live in the semi, <laughs> legally parked in front of Bennigan's. <laughs> <laughs> From time to time I get pussy <laughs> From the ugliest bitches on earth This is my first time being on a train <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gotta 30, be honest with you I'm scared I'm scared and I'm 37 <laughs> I'm really only comfortable Incarcerated <laughs> <laughs> When I get scared I get horny I hope that I don't fuck you But if I do I apologize well in advance.
You got to suck on a man's dick. You got to suck on his penis. <laughs> when you get scared. This is a different part of the song. <laughs> you got to use a man's penis you like gotta, a pacifier. You got to suck on my penis. <laughs> I'm going to skip ahead to the part where I try and convince you to have gay sex with me.